Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. If you're not a big cook and you want to take something really good to an office party or a family get together for the holidays, making your own sour cream and onion dip is so easy and everybody will rave about it. This recipe is in our volume one cookbook. Now this recipe, it seems like, why would you go to the trouble? But let me tell you, you'll be glad you did. Something that you can have some company and they'll go for that onion dip and they're gonna think, wow, this is delicious. Now, if you can't get chives at your local grocery store, I got these at Publix, then just use some green onion and cut the green tips off of green onion. And you might wanna sharpen your knife before you chop up your chives so that they're pretty. And we're just gonna chop them in small pieces And remember, the recipe, the amounts are always at the bottom of the description post. You can also get chives in the dehydrated herb section, too, if you want to get them that way. We're going to get these in our bowl. And we're going to chop up a little onion. You're going to use a sweet onion. If you can get a Vidalia, you can do that. But now this is just a sweet onion. So you're going to chop up an onion and get it in your bowl as well. And when you chop your onion, try and get it as diced as you can. So you're not going to want big hunks, small pieces. So it's more like minced or diced onion. I don't go all the way through the onion and that way it stays attached on one side and it makes it easier. And you also cut off a flat side too so that it stands up on your cutting board and that makes it easier. So cut it as thin as you can. And lots of times I don't worry about using the entire onion. I leave what's left at the bottom to save for other recipes, like if you're making a roast or soup or whatever in that way, or chili, that way you've got some onion uh, that you can use, and you can use the easy part to chop. So it doesn't hurt, even if you did a good job, to go ahead and try to chop it a little bit more. All right, we're gonna get these onions in there and then we're gonna add a little garlic salt. We're gonna mix this up, it's gonna be really good. Now you're going to use garlic salt, which I hardly ever use in any recipe, but there are some recipes I do use it for. Most of the time I use garlic powder, but this is good with garlic salt. So you're going to add your garlic salt, and then you're going to add your sour cream. And what I do is I just put it right back in the same container, and that way it's ready, and you can just mark the top with a marker that it is onion dip. And that way you don't get it out and put it in something else. It's really good and to mix this up and use it in your cream potatoes too. So if you got some extra in the refrigerator, use it at night in your dinner dishes. It's good.
and it marinates a little bit and gets more of a flavor if you've had it mixed up overnight as well. So now what we do is we just put it back in our container. And usually you have a little extra, so we're gonna eat the extra today, me and Chris. And we'll taste the extra. And remember to mark your lid. And remember, it'll be good until the date on the container. So go buy your sour cream date if you want to know how long to keep it in the refrigerator, but it's going to get strong. So remember that too. You don't want to make it a month ahead or anything crazy. I'm a Lay's potato chips gal. I love them. And I actually like the low sodium ones better than these. But now Chris loves ruffles. So whatever kind you like, buy them. It's really good fresh, and remember, it's even better the next day, but it's delicious. Mmm. Yummy. And so easy. Now, that's a burst of flavor in your mouth. If you're on a date, you might need a breath mint. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.